Hi guys, Dana here. Last couple of weeks I've um, had quite a few um, bits of vinyl into the um, inbox, some old, some new. Um, but the reason for today's video is that uh, one of my local record stores, Crash Records, got a little, um, it's a new chap called Dragnet Records, who actually uh, lives in the basement as it were. And it was his uh, one year anniversary of basically trading um, elsewhere as well as actually in this basement more uh, recently. Um, and so he was having a pound day, so literally just a table full of um, one pound bins. Um, so got there first thing in the morning and uh, got quite a few bits actually, so a mixture of 12 inches and um, LP. So I thought I'd sort of just quickly go through those and show you what we've got. Um, so I'll do that now. Um, first one uh, was all about Eve. This is the Our Summer 12 inch. Um, not one I've particularly seen actually, it's quite an early one. Um, Number three, looking at it anyway on the, uh, the sort of twelve-inch release, it's got Lady Moonlight and Shelter from the Rain on, which um, were both on the debut album as well. But it's the cover artwork I don't particularly recognise. Um, isn't really in keeping with the rest of the stuff that they've done over the years. Um, vinyl is excellent, um, really in good condition. Uh, but the label is again quite sort of plain label. Um, but yeah. Vinyl, fantastic condition, and for a pound, who can argue? It's just like great. I mean, I love all about Eve. I think the self-titled debut is probably one of the best debuts around, full stop, by any sort of genre of artist. Um, there's not a weak track on it, but um, it's still probably one of my top. Could be in my top twenty albums of all time. I think it's um, such a fantastic, you know, well-rounded album. So if anybody out there. Um, hasn't heard all about Eve, then I urge you to get the debut album at least anyway. But yeah, so that's number one. Um, the next were um, Mission, which is, um, had quite a few links to All About Eve as well. Um, they had quite a few 12 inches there, so I picked those up. So Mission 3, uh, which had Stay With Me, it's the title track, Blood Brother and Ireland in a Stream. Um, again, they're all in good condition. Um, nothing wrong with these. I suppose it's just one of those sort of things that don't particularly sell well. Um, they're not particularly collectible, I suppose, anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the mission. Um, again, Children, I think, was the uh, the album I first heard, um, which I thought was fantastic. Carved in sand, the follow up as well, which was really great. But yeah, I mean, this, as you can see, great condition. Pound. Can't go wrong. Um, so again, there's quite a few mission ones here. Uh, Severina. Again, basic stuff. I'm not bothered getting the vinyl out and all these, but uh, they're all in fantastic nick, basically. Tower of Strength. So it's from the aforementioned um, Children album. Uh, Butterfly on a Wheel, which was the first single, I believe, off Carved in Sand. And the reason I pick up the uh, the 12 inches as well is that you tend to get um, tracks that um, either never made it to the album uh, for whatever reason that didn't feel that strong enough for the album or um, you know done cover versions and you know, just lots of different things like that. So that's why I tend to pick those you know the 12 inches up of my sort of favourite bands. Um, Hands across the ocean with um, Amelia graphic on the back, which again. Uh, carved in sand. So those are the mission ones. Um, I think those are the only 12 inches that I bought. Um, so the rest are basically albums anyway. Again, all these are a pound just to make sure. Um, Cat Stevens, which was Mona Bone Jackon. I think that's um, right. Now this one, actually, again, the vinyl is in excellent condition. It's on the um, island label, Pink Rim. You can see it's quite, um, it's not a first pressing. I mean, the, it's A1 on the A side, and I think it was a B2 on the reverse. Can't see it now, anyway. Love the money. Typical me trying to find something. Yeah, B2. So, yeah, and again, it's um, as clean as whistle. It hardly looks played, to be fair. Um, so, you know, not, 
not the biggest Cat Stevens fans, but um, I've got Tifa Tillerman, um, his greatest hits and what have you, so um, I thought I'd pick that up, can't go wrong for a pound. Uh, Elvis Costello, which I'm a big fan of this one, and I've not got this one, my aim is true. Again, I think this was um, another early pressing as well. Um, Again, wasn't uh, it's not an A, it's not a first pressing, but I think it was. Um, what was it first pressing? Actually, thinking about it, no, it was an A two, A two B one. But it's on the uh, Stiff Records label. Um, but again, another clean example. So, for a pound, couldn't really uh, resist. Uh, a couple of Yes albums. Um, yeah, band are not really, I mean, I do really like my progressive rock, um, and I have heard Yes Stuff, probably got a couple of their albums in the collection already, um, but these are two I didn't have, um, and again, for a pound, can't go wrong. Yes Shows, which again, in true, sort of, Yes and um, Roger Dean fashion, lovely gatefold. Lovely artwork. Again, finals, I won't get them out, but they're in fantastic condition again. I think they're quite early pressings as well. Um, this one, Relayer. So again, Gatefold Edition. The um, cover in there as well. Just a single one, this one. The last one, the live shows, was the uh, double. Again, still a pound. Um, next one, Queen of Works. I've got a couple of copies of this already. Um, one of us, the first one I got was quite heavily damaged actually, to be firm, and I just picked it up because I'm quite a big Queen fan. Um, but this one, first pressing, again in the pound bin, so um, great. I mean, it's effectively it's an upgrade for me. And I suppose Queen, Queen stuff is collectible, but it's been such a huge band they're not particularly rare so um so to pick this up i mean the cover's in great condition as well it really is um pound crazy so you know you can't buy the cd for a quid so not that you'd want to um and this is the last one that i got from the the pound bin as i say dragnet records what i'll do is i'll leave the links as well at the bottom of this video so um eric clapton one night which again the the cover itself is in um, not great shape it's got some you know wear and tear on the uh, external facings but hey, vinyl spot on um, can't come at all it's you know, in very good condition um, you know, so all of those I'll um, I've not played any of those just need a bit of a clean um, before spinning around um, yeah but really happy with what I got um, Picked up some other bits as well, which I'll show in the next video from there. Um, weren't in the pound section, but they were just generally in the store. Um, a couple of other ones that I'll just tag on to the end of this one was um, local charity shop as well in Leeds. Um, I tend to go in there every now and again. Normally they just have its typical rubbish, sort of Harry Seacombe, Val Dunica, and you know, typical easy listening, chamber music or what have you. Um, I went in the other day and picked up this again, another pound. Susan Vega's first album. Um, it still actually had its original shrink wrapping on. It wasn't sealed, it was open, but um, so that's kept it lovely, nice and clean. Um, it's got the uh, printed in on it, and it's actually the um, first pressing as well, which um, is great to have. It needs a bit of a clean, but other than that, there's a slight mark on it, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect the play. So, first pressing, Susan Vega for a pound. Um, and last but certainly not least is uh, Pat Benatar uh, in the heat of the night. This one, uh, I've got, I mean, I used to love Pat Benatar back in the day, um, certainly when I first got into rock music. Um, but certainly on collecting Barn, I found that she's got a quite a large back catalogue, um, so and again, it's quite readily available in good condition. So I've been picking them up um, as and when I see them basically and again this one 
pound. But you know, another fantastic condition from the Chrysalis label. Really nice and clean copy. Can't go wrong. Um, and again, I think this was, if I remember rightly, another first pressing. Um, but again, covers in great nick, vinyl's in great nick, and it was a pound, so, you know, that's just crazy talk, really. So, yeah, that was me, um, pound finds, really. Got a couple of others I'll show, I'll do the video straight after this one. Um, again, they weren't a pound, but there were, there were a couple of picked up in, um, I say, Dragnet Records, uh, a couple from Record Feds and what have you, and I, but worth showing anyway, to see what I've got. Again, nice, different mix of stuff. Anyway. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. Bye.